Hey everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. Sorry about the lighting, the lighting's a bit iffy in here, but it's really grey outside so I don't think we're getting any better. But this video, as you can probably see, is going to be a setup of my new Filofax. This is the Filofax Domino Soft in Fawn. And this is pocket size. So that's that. You may have seen I showed this in my haul, which I believe was my last video. And I said that I was kind of using it, but I hadn't really set it up properly. So today we are going to do that. And I finally got it to like lay flat. It was kind of a bit more bent when I got it. So this is a good place, I think, to start. So I just realized I have none of my paper clips. So one second. Okay, so I've got some now. So first, I think I'm actually gonna start up because I want this to be kind of a Valentine's setup. So I wanna start with some Valentine's kind of die cuts in the pocket. I wonder if that will stay there without being clipped like that. And then we wanna use blue or purple. They both kind of go with the colors of these die cuts actually. Maybe use the purple. Um, okay. I had more paper clips. I don't know what I've done with them though. So but we're going to paper clip that in there. Kind of do it angled, but I don't want it to stick over the side. But yeah, so that's kind of Valentine's Day. I also have this kitty cone die cut. This is one of my die cuts that I drew. These are in my shop, but these are clip arts that I bought. Um, this is one I, oh, there we go, designed myself. This is Flossie, the kitty cone. And she, I kind of picture her as like the flirty loved up one. So it kind of goes, and I'm thinking maybe tuck her in at the back, just so she peeks out. And I'm not gonna paper clip her for now, but we'll see how that goes. So let's get into some of these pages. Um, front cover, I guess. So I've got just the clear acetate sheet that came with the file effects. So I'm just gonna pop that in to protect stuff in there. I have this gold foil uh, like scrapbook card. I guess you'd call it I don't know I got this in a book from pound stretcher which I don't know if pound stretchers are still around so I don't know if you can still get these but checking kind of pound stores and I got a whole book of loved themed ones so this came in another loved themed ones this one was all like foil themed and this one was craft paper with black printing I'll maybe see if I can find something similar maybe link it but I thought this would be fun gold foil as my front cover now this normally isn't my style I go for more of like a minimalist style but I don't know it's a bit fun to go like out of your comfort zone for Valentine's Day and kind of you know so Let's go in with my first dashboard. So my dashboards are these like frosted plastic. Now these I cut myself. They're a bit thick. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on camera, but if I put them together, look how thick that chunk is. So when you've only got a small planner, that's like, you know, not needed. Um, and these were just a practice run to sell in my shop. So I've actually bought thinner plastic that works a lot better. So these frosted dividers will be in my shop. This one is hole punched badly, so just ignore that, but the rest are fine. So I'm gonna put in my first divider and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try having the dividers clear for the time being, because obviously I know what's in each section but I have clear sticker paper and I might 
put text on them eventually, but I'm going to kind of see. So first up is my monthly pages. Which are these? So it just has the month on two pages. This is July. I just pulled it open into the middle and it's dated. So I'm going to put that in. I started I started using it for some things just down here, but I have a B6 monthly that I use and I kind of use that to write down stuff. So I might just use it in the sense of like here, I just put Ikea. I know what's happening that day. I know Ikea furniture was being delivered. So instead of writing more stuff out, like Matthew home early, snow, blah, blah, blah. Um, just use it for more simplified things and use the B6 Traveler's Notebook one for more detail. So there's that. By the way, excuse my sleeves if you see them. We have no heating in this house, so I have a fleece top on and a fleece dressing gown. So there's that. Um, hmm, I also have these sheets, which are like a month list on a page. I think I want to use these for monthly challenges. So I'm not quite sure if I want to put them behind the months themselves. Maybe I do for now. Um, or put them in a different section. So I think I'm going to put them here for now. And see how that goes. I also have here from Peanuts Planico. These are reoccurring task sheets. So you write your task there and you have the month all along here um, and any tasks that happen throughout the year you can just you know if they happen once a month if they happen once every other month you can kind of track that in here um, so I think I might use this for bills car stuff things like that by the way these are normally black but my printer decided to print it brown because I'm running out of black ink so but I think I'm also going to put them in there for now just keep the monthly stuff all together. Although, like I said, them sort of bits at the end might go into a separate section, but we shall see. So, next divider. And this will be my dailies. What did I do? Okay. So I have been using these. Just, this is so weird getting used to where the camera is. So this is a this week page and you just, you know, I use it for big tasks I know are happening that week. Um, but like get office finish, list new items. I didn't know when that was gonna happen in the week. So I put it there. And then this is how the days look. So you have a box here, which fits Erin Condren Life Planner. Stickers, I'll see if I can find the sheet that I used them on. Um, and then you just have a little dotted area here. So I use this to put my to-dos. Um, and then I haven't done it here. Let me find another. So I write out my to-dos. This is Tuesday. And then the way I'm using this at the moment is once my to-dos are all out and I know what I've got to do for that day, I then figure out what I want to do first, like almost time track it. And I write that down the side in just bullet points. I don't write out the to-do again. I just put stickers, new designs, YouTube, eBay, shelves. Just so I can look at this and I can see what I've got to get done that day. But instead of being like, oh, I'll do this one now, I can look at kind of what I want to get done first. So it might work for you to just put your to-dos in order but my to-dos just pop into my head randomly so this works better for me so because I am still on this week I am going to put that in first and then I've printed out another four weeks I have here so I'm going to put that in too and the back page I always do it as another this week page even if I don't have 
more weeks just so if I know anything's coming up for that week and I don't have the pages yet I can still write it down here so if I can so this is the page I used with Erin Condren life stickers on these are from crafty rats designs crafty rat designs I'll put a link in the description to everything I say um but yeah so that box fits these stickers perfectly widthways and then you can obviously put in however much you want lengthways but just so you know if you buy these inserts in my shop you can use it with those stickers so next divider I'm trying to think what I want here I think this is going to be so I have weeklies but these aren't for planning. Again, you can get these in my shop. These aren't for planning. I put the week at the top. So this is the 28th to the 3rd. And then this is for meal planning. So me and my boyfriend live together now. And so we alternate days that we cook on. And we always go shopping on Friday for the week's food. So we have to plan out all our meals. So I always write them down here. I have an incoming video call. I always write them down here so I see them for the week and then that way I know what I'm cooking throughout the week. I'm gonna have to pause quickly, sorry. Okay, well, sorry about that. My mum decided to video call me from work, so I have to take a little break there. But back to these, yep, so I write down all our meals. So when we're sitting down on a Friday, we plan out our meals. So I cooked Monday, Wednesday, and I'll be cooking tomorrow night and um, my boyfriend cooked Tuesday and Thursday so we write that in because we meal plan on a Friday Saturday Sunday isn't filled in until like the next Friday so that'll be filled in tomorrow um but yeah so that is what my computer's just turned off and I was using that to see <laughs> the view I'm having a nightmare here today so that's what I use weeklies for. So that's why that's going here and not more with the planning side. Actually, for that, I'm trying to do Slimming World. So I have, I have written down healthy Bs, healthy As, Sins, um, Speed and Free Foods. Just ones that I kind of, because I've done Slimming World before, but just ones that I kind of tend to forget. So as healthy bees, I have like blueberry wheats because I never knew that was a healthy bee before. Um, just some of the cereals that I forget about. Two wheat a big so I know that I can have that. So I'm going to put that at the front of meal planning. So I have that to refer to when we plan our meals because we're both trying to do Slim and World at the moment. So and that's weekly planning. And I think that's everything I want to put in there. So now will be my next divider. Now I'm trying to decide what I want to put in here. So left I have a spending tracker, date, description and amount. So I'm thinking of using this for when I put petrol in the car and things like furniture and stuff that I buy. So I don't know if I want to put that here. Maybe I will. And you know what? Because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to put that in front of that divider so you can see it through. Because obviously they are see-through. They're just a bit frosted. So I'm going to put that like that. And I like the craft with the domino itself because it's kind of a very similar colour and feel. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put in my spending tracker. And then, so over here, right, I have a contacts page, which normally I don't put contacts in file faxes and planners, because I always think if I'm taking this around and I lose it, someone's got, you know, phone numbers. Although it's good to get the planner back to you, I don't want someone to have, you know, people's numbers and addresses. But I think I'm going to use this simply to put names 
and phone numbers in case I'm out and about and my phone ever breaks because I don't memorize anyone's number. So if I'm out and about and my phone breaks and something happens, I don't have anyone I can phone because I don't know anyone's number. So this is kind of important stuff now. This is what this section has become. So I'm gonna turn that into that. Over here, I just have a mixture of pages. So this is my things to watch again page. So this is all just stuff I've watched before, but every time I fancy watching something again, I write it on there. So I have more, these are file effects pages. I have more to-do lists, they're all blank. I have the file effects obnoxious grid pages. The grid is so dark, like what would you use that for? So I'll put that to the side and then some blank pages. So I'm gonna put in to-dos in this section, I think. And then, so I'm going to start working from the back now because these rings, you know, they're getting a little bit full. Right, so at the back, I'm going to put this little top loading pocket that came with the file effects. It's like a very soft vinyl. Um, normally, I feel like they're a bit thicker, so I don't know how long this will last, but I'm going to put that at the very back and na, 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 na. okay so left I have dot grid paper that I sell in my shop this is mine um the plain paper and then I have the filofax coloured papers which although I don't normally write on coloured paper because the blue is fairly dark um I always think it's fun and I think it's a shame to waste. So at the very back, I'm gonna put the plain paper because I don't tend to use plain paper all that much, but it might be handy to have. Then I'm gonna put my note paper. This is gonna be more probably like scratch paper. So if I need to write down a note, I'll write it down there and I can just rip it out because this is easy enough to print off myself. Whereas something like this might be more special notes that I want to keep so actually I'm going to flip that to the back so I know I can just turn straight to the back and there's my scratch paper and then put in the file effects plain and then put in the coloured and then on top of that will be the last divider and I think that's everything that I wanted to put in there so I'm going to close these rings and we're going to flip to the front. So we've got it, got it fairly chunky, you know, I don't want to pack this full because this will be coming out with me. So I feel like this is a, a nice level of chunkiness and I could probably fill it up a bit more and it'll be fine. So we've got acetate sheet, front cover, first divider. So on my first divider, these are sticky notes. And again, kind of goes with the color. I'm just gonna grab a few of these, peel them off. And this is the perfect size to put on that divider. Oh, I did that really wonky, but I don't care. So now I have just a couple of post-it notes if I want them, and these ones are prettier instead of just you know, like I have just coloured ones that I could cut down and put in, but these are prettier, so we're going to pop them in. So we flick, and to be honest, I would probably paper clip these together. Um, use maybe this big gold arrow goes with the gold foil at the front. That can tuck under the post-it notes. And then this is kind of pointing at our current month. Um, and that way when I flick to this divider, it will open up at the current month. So come February, that's March. Come February, I'll tuck that under the paper clip. So that's all our month. And then we have 
the month on the list. Again, probably going to use these for like 30 day challenges or monthly challenges. And then we have the reoccurring tasks list. Again, Peanuts Planner Co. Um, so that I'll probably use for bills, maybe cleaning, like household cleaning. Now we own our own house and I don't live at home anymore like with my mum. I have to be a bit more on top of keeping our house clean. So I have two, three, four, five, six of them that I can use. If I don't need all them, I'll just take one out. So next divider, and that leads us into the dailies where I have this current month and then I have four, this current week, sorry, and then I have four more weeks in there. Next divider is food. Oh, actually, there's my current day. So it's Thursday and I have the Filofax ruler. So I'm going to pop that in because that I use just easily to grab and flick to the current day that I'm on. So that's going to go in there. And then we have food. So we have my Slimming World pages, which they could always be clip together so it's easier for me to get to this maybe I'll do that I could either use a black arrow or the little blue paper clip again I have others I don't know where they've gone so we'll use this for now do you not want to go on there thank you because this isn't something I'll always need to check, but that way when I'm flicking through, they're not in the way. But when I'm meal planning, I can take this off and look through. And then that way it points again at the current week I'm on for meal planning. So another thing I want to do, this is where that Filofax grid paper that I hate comes in handy. Because I don't mind ripping this out. So what I do, I take a sheet and I cut through to the holes and just take a little section out so that that way it pops in and I can pop it out again without ripping it. So I put this in between the week. So this week will be what I have to meal plan Friday. So when it comes to meal planning, I'll put down all the meals and then this will be my grocery list. So come, so I'll meal plan Friday sit down do that and then this will come straight out and come with me to the shops and that way it gives a use for these pages I don't have to waste them but at the same time it doesn't matter that the grid's so dark because it's just you know for food shopping it gets thrown in the bin at the end of the day so I'm going to put one of them in between that week I'm not going to bother doing it for the rest because they're you know weeks ahead so it doesn't really matter so next divider we have kissy lips underneath so you have spending tracker here. Maybe I should bring this a bit closer for you. Spending tracker. Just got two sides of that. Then we have the contacts. My things to watch again list. I don't care that this is a to-do page. I'm just gonna use it for whatever. And then once the file effects ones run out, I have my own to replace it. So we've got them. Then we've got last divider and this is all just note paper for anything else that I want to put in here. I have notes. The folder, what do I want to do with this? I don't know, maybe I can stick more sticky notes on here. I don't know, but like whenever I get receipts from food shopping, because I like to Again, on the spending track, I put in how much we spend on food shopping. At the end of the shop, I can tuck them in here until I write that all down. Then we have little flossies sticking out at the back here. Um, I mean, I think she'll stay, so I'm gonna leave her to chill. And the pen I use in this is my, the ones I use are these Bic multicolor ones. So I have one with the 
kind of pretty colours. So pink, purple, green and blue. And then I have ones with more functional colours, so black, red, dark blue and dark green. But obviously on the go, I'm not going to take two big pens around with me. So I have a mini version of the pretty colours, which is what I use to colour code my planner. And for a pocket size, this is like the perfect pen to fit in there. Because obviously these, you know, are just about the length of the cover. So it would work, but this is more pocket planner size. So flip that back around. We've got the die cuts at the front. And if we tuck that all in and close it, it's a perfect little fit. You can just see the pen sticking out so we can push that in and to top it all off I have this little polymer clay love heart lollipop charm that I made and I think I'm gonna pop this on the front that's so cute I like that there is on the front, it just has the lobster claw so it attaches to the elastic. And that's what I like about this Filofax. I'm so used, to, I started on Filofaxes. I always had A5 sizes and then I tried personal and I wasn't a fan of the long and thin kind of page size. So then I went on to Traveller's Notebooks and I really loved B6 size and A6. Um, and I liked the string going around it and I like putting charms on the strings and stuff whereas the other Filofaxes have the popper that's what I used to have so I never put charms on um, and then I started seeing loads of YouTube videos of pocket planning and that's what kind of got me into it and a bit addicted and so I bought one and now I'm trying it out um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I might put some more of that divider plastic it's a kind of a thicker harder sheet at the back just to you know pull it out from the ring so nothing gets bent but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed seeing my setup and if you want to see more pocket filofax videos just let me know there's other stuff that i'm probably gonna add so i have this huge paper clip which is almost the size of it um, I have more paper clips there. I have paper clips I'm missing. I have a Daryl one and a unicorn one. So, oh, actually, are you my? Here's my Daryl. Okay, let's just pop him on the string for now. So there's a little Daryl with a little love heart. Cute. So this will probably change, but this is my first proper setup. I'm going to see how I like it. The daily pages might change kind of layout completely i'm gonna see how it goes but i hope you liked it i hope you like my setup leave any comments down below if you enjoy pocket planning what sort of style layouts you've come to enjoy because i'd like to know what works best for such a small size if you want to see more pocket planning videos let me know subscribe like this video and i will see you in the next one goodbye